Hello, welcome to One Moment Wiser. This is Christy Bridges, and let's continue reading Nehemiah. Let's read how he prayed so effectively. He found out about Jerusalem and the destruction, and he fasted and prayed for days. And the message says, God of heaven, the great and awesome God, loyal to his covenant and faithful to those who love him and obey his commands. Look at me. Listen to me. Pay attention to this prayer of your servant that I'm praying day and night in intercession for your servants, the people of Israel. Confessing the sins of the people of Israel, I'm including myself and my ancestors. Among those who have sinned against you, we treated you like dirt. We haven't done what you told us, haven't followed your commands, haven't respected the decisions you gave to Moses, your servant. Remember the warning you posted to your servant, Moses? If you betray me, I'll scatter you to the four winds. But if you come back to me and do what I'll tell you, I'll gather up these scattered peoples from wherever they ended up and put them back in the place I chose to mark my name. Well, there they are, your servants, your people, whom you so powerfully and impressively redeemed. Master, listen to me. Listen to your servant's prayer, and yes, to all your servants who delight in honoring you. Make me successful today so I get what I want from the king. So Jesus taught us to begin our prayers by recognizing that God is holy. He is sovereign. He is the great and awesome God. And to line up our prayers with, Lord, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Nehemiah does the same thing. He reminds God of what God said he really wanted, which was people who obey him back in the home he gave them. We can pray the same way, recognizing that he is sovereign and getting to understand what God really wants because his purposes he will accomplish. God bless you.